Hello, today we're gonna tackle something different than what I usually do because I don't know how to fix this thing. So the topic at hand is uh, ChatGPT, which of course many people use, including myself. And as you can see from the screen here, we got your usual chatbot. I can type something in, which works just fine. I got these options. Wonderful. Everything is conky-dory. Except I want to use O4 Mini. So the normal way to do that is you just pull up this little pull-down menu here where it says Chat GPT 4.0. Click on it and you have a list of options. As you can see, I'm clicking on it and there are no options coming up. Okay? So everything else seems to work great, but I can't select a different option. If I click on the little menu over here, which should show me some options, tools basically as they call them, I can't do it. I'm clicking on it and it's not doing anything. If I click on the plus, also nothing happens. So basically I can't just add a file using plus. I can't select this menu. I can't select this menu. It just doesn't work. Now can I do anything else? Let's see. Let's say uh, why pull down menus in chat GPT don't work in Chrome. The reason I'm asking about Chrome is while well, searching the web and coming up with the answer. If I pull up Firefox and I click on the pull down menu, there are all my options right there. Not a problem. If I click on plus, it gives me these options. If I click on the menu, it gives me canvas. So it works just fine in Firefox, but it doesn't work in Chrome. If we pull up chat GPT in edge, it doesn't quite look right here. It's got this extra icons and stuff. So it doesn't do a very good job rendering what it needs to render. But the bottom line is same thing. I can't click on this. I can't click on attach click plus nothing happens click on the menu tools nothing happens so it doesn't work either so edge doesn't work in my case and chrome doesn't work and the only thing that actually works is firefox for some who knows what reason so looking at from that perspective the the concept would be okay it doesn't work because of the browser, because obviously Firefox does work, Chrome doesn't work, it's got to be some kind of browser related deal. So if we look at the response from ChatGPT here, some users found it updating certain versions of Chrome, blah, blah, blah. I don't think that's the case because again, Edge doesn't work either. So it couldn't be just Firefox and I always run the latest versions. Number two, browser extension conflicts. Extension can sometimes interfere, okay. So it says disabling all extensions, then re-enabling one by one can identify a cause of the problem. Okay, that's going to be time consuming, but you know, that's what we have to do. That's what we have to do. Corrupted cache or cookies, accumulated cache and cookies, navigate to Chrome and perform this action. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to do that, see if that fixes it. So we go to this URL, pull it up in a new tab, do this, delete data. And okay, so that's done. So let's refresh the browser just to be on the safe side. And voila, no, nothing. <laughs> Same problem, doesn't work either. Okay, so that wasn't the problem. Some users report uh, changing browser's language to English to resolve the issue. Of course, I have it in English. Okay, so let's see. Here we go into settings and we go to languages and uh, yeah, number one is English, number two is English, number three is Russian. Let's get rid of the second, I guess I can't remove that one and uh, just for the heck of it, let's remove Russian so we only have English left and uh, let's refresh and see if it works. 
and killing Russian didn't do squat. So for those of you who speak Russian, you can continue to speak Russian. Okay, if the issue persists, try and consider accessing ChatGPT through a different browser. Okay, I did that and that works. Okay, so basically it doesn't know what it is, just has some ideas. So the only idea that I think might be worthwhile is to deal with browser extensions. We'll try that later, but the first thing we can do before removing some of them is let's just go into the incognito mode because this doesn't load any extensions. Okay, and now let's go to chat.com, which is an alternative to ChatGPT. URL goes to the same place. And um, here we go. Are you ready? Pull down and it says login. Okay, so let's log in. When I tried to pull down, it says login. So let's go hook up. Let's connect with Google again. Now I have to type in the, the uh, address and click next. And then type in the address. Oh no, it wants a password now. So it would be probably this one. And click next. And it's got the 2FA again, so we're gonna tap yes on the phone. As soon as it comes up here. There it is, yes. Okay, so we're in. Official logged into ChatGPT. Here we go. It's me. You can see the icon there. Beautiful. Let's see if it works. Three, two, one. Drum roll, please. And sure enough, it works. Okay. So now we have a little bit, we're a little bit closer to solving this thing because it looks like it's uh, the extension situation because it's the same browser. Yeah, everything is the same version. All of that is the same. The only difference is we're running it in incognito mode, which means we didn't load any of the extensions. Let's close this because we know this works. Let's make sure this works too. Plus works, menu works. Yeah, we're good. So in incognito, everything works. So this is one way how you can solve the problem is just by going to chat GPT through the incognito mode. If you don't want to mess with extensions, this will be the fastest operation anyway whenever you're running without extensions and you just log in, you'll have to put in most likely like I do 2FA authentication, but once you log in, you're up and running and you can just leave the window open and that solves the problem right there. So that's the easiest way to fix it. Just go into incognito mode, log in and you're good to go. Everything works. Okay. So if we close this and go back to the regular version with the extensions, Obviously, it still doesn't work, I'm assuming. Yeah, it doesn't work. So what you can do is when you go to chatgpt.com or chat.com, you can put in a question mark at the end of the URL and type in model equals 04 mini, for example. I think it's 04 dash mini. And then when you do that, it'll come up with chatgpt for that particular model. So as you can see right there, it says ChatGPT04 Mini, and that's exactly what we wanted. The pull-down still doesn't work, but at least you'll be working in this model. So it's not a fix. It's just basically a possible use if you don't want to deal with incognito right now and you just want to quickly get something done in particular model. This is kind of a semi-fix or at least temporary fix. Okay. It needs to be the model that's valid. So in terms of going through and fixing things now through the extensions, what we can do is basically turn them off. So we just turn all the extensions off. By simply turning them off right here. Boy, I got a lot of extensions. I'd recommend going through and removing, not just turning them off, but removing any extension that you're not planning to use. Because if you haven't turned off certain extensions and you're not using them, you just thought at one time you'd use it, then go ahead and get rid of them completely. Because the more 
memory you have, the better performing machine you're going to have. And one way to have more memory when you bring up your browser is by not loading all these extensions. So it will improve your performance. And if it's something you're not going to use, like for example, in my case, I don't use Zapier. I use something else. So there's no reason to have Zapier extension. I can just remove it and be done with it. So I need to go through it because I got way too many. But right now it looks like I got all the extensions turned off. Yeah, every extension is turned off. Okay, so we're good. So let's go ahead and uh, jump out to this next tab. Let's refresh the browser. In fact, let's do a hard refresh with the shift key first. And at this point, we're going to click on plus and we have the menu come up. We click on pull down and it's working just fine. We click on uh, the menu here and the tools. There is canvas selectable and there is canvas. You know, it, you know, this is working exactly how it's supposed to work. If I want to bring up a file from Google Drive, it comes up, shows me my Google Drive. So everything works basically at this point. So the way to fix this problem clearly is to deal with extensions. In terms of which extensions to turn on and off, it's a difficult thing to figure out. I'm not going to waste your time going through all of mine. But the idea is you turn on uh, one extension at a time and then see if it still works or not. Very tedious process. I'd probably recommend using a binary sort type approach. So instead of turning on one and then checking it, just turn off half of them in one swoop. So you turn off half of the extensions. You see if it's still working. If it's working, great. That means the problem is with the other half that you didn't turn on yet. Okay. If it's not working, it means it's in this half you turned on. That's what the problem is. So then you continue to just keep halving that area. So let's start with 20. So you go ahead and you enable 10 extensions. doesn't matter which ones. I mean, I'd go from the beginning going down. So it's easier to track disabled top 10 extensions. See if ChatGPT comes up, if it works. That means that the problem is with the extensions you did not enable yet. So the, the ones that you haven't selected, that's what the problem is. So now you can basically disable all the ones you disable, the 10 you disable, because you know they're not the problem because it's working. And then you go and you work with the 10 that you did not disable yet. And now you go ahead and enable them. And then you check the whole thing. It shouldn't work right now. Since it worked before, it shouldn't work right now. And so at that point, you go ahead and you keep doing this in a half. Then you go from 20 to 10, doing the same check. Then you go from 10 to 5. And this way, using these little steps like that, you're able to fairly quickly figure out where is the block of extensions that doesn't work. Because you're going to go from 20, then next iteration would be 10, next iteration would be 5, and next iteration would be, you know, like 3. And then you can just go one by one and figure out uh, which one of those is the culprit. But you should be able to relatively quickly by using this approach to kind of get to the problem and root cause. Once you figure out which extension is the root cause, obviously running it will prevent you from running ChatGPT properly. So you have a choice. Either you don't run ChatGPT with that extension on, or you turn the extension off or get rid of it completely so you can run ChatGPT without worrying about it. So I'm glad we solved it. In my case, like I said, I'm not going to bore you with uh, doing this process on my end uh, because it's going to take a little while, but I will figure out which is the culprit and get rid of it. And because, you know, when you run chat GPT, last thing you want to do is be worried about things that are semi working. I mean, you want everything to work the way you need to. You need to be able to attach files. You need to be able to pull down menus, use canvas, select different models. I mean, that's what you want to be able to do because that's what it's supposed to do. If you have any questions regarding any of this, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I also highly recommend joining my uh, IT slash AI community on Skylar Network. It's free. Th think of it as having a little mini IT department working on your behalf. So you can ask any kind of IT related questions. There's a lot of AI related stuff in there. I do events there. So just look for the link to my community below. Sign up for free and you'll get all kinds of good stuff like this and more.
So we go through the painstaking process of trying stuff by turning things on and off and testing it. That doesn't work. So we look at this one, we turn it off and see if that works now. And uh, it doesn't. And so we just kind of go through it and turning different things on and off. And so I'm not going to bore you with this. We'll just kind of fast forward to doing all this much quicker. Okay. So we found our culprit. It's called Gmail Web Clipper by Cloud HQ. So let's test it one more time. So we turn it on, go back to ChatGPT, refresh the screen, and clicking doesn't do anything. Okay, so that doesn't work. So we go back, we turn it off, and we refresh the screen, and drum roll please. Ta-da! It works. Beautiful. Okay, this works, and this works, and this works this works yeah great okay so the culprit was in my case gmail web clipper by cloud hq they make some nice things but certainly nothing that uh, has to be used and so i'm just going to go ahead and remove it completely because i don't want it screwing up the works here and now we should still be in good shape here let's close this out and refresh the screen one last time and beautiful works like a charm excellent okay so that completes this official government test we got rid of the extension that was causing the issue and most likely if you do the same thing i did it's going to fix it for you as well with that said i hope you found this useful until next time i'm still oleg